My parents taught me to pursue my dreams and to do whatever makes me happy because if you do whatever makes you happy, you'll do it right and you'll be successful. I remember being at my grandma's house and I was like five years old. Ella siempre todas las tardes tocaba piano clásico, música clásica y era hermoso todo lo que tocaba. Entonces a los cinco años fue que yo le dije, abuelita, quiero aprender y me enseñó un par de canciones como Para Elisa de Beethoven o Rondo a la Turca de Mozart, que es una de mis favoritas, siempre la toco. One of my first uh, musical memories I have, it's in the car with my parents. They were playing music and I was just sing along. I started taking piano lessons when I was six years old. I'm so thankful because my parents supported me. My dad, he used to play in a band when he was younger. He's a really good songwriter. So when I was 12, we started like playing around. My dad would come with, like, with some chords and like, okay, so we want to talk about this? And I was like, no, I don't like this melody. It's like too old for me. Let's do that, you know, and we'll just have fun. I grew up with my best friend. Our parents were best friends even younger than we were born and we automatically became best friends. We'd sing karaoke all the time, so we decided to write songs. And we did an album. The album was called Café Olé. That was back in Monterrey, where I'm from. It was my first time in the studio, like first time ever. I had no idea how anything like really worked. I remember telling my friend like, hey, this is how we're gonna divide the song. I would guide everything and that was so much fun. My dad would come with cool ideas. I would help him with lyrics and I'll add melodies because melodies is my favorite part and that's when I realized I wanted to do this forever. No, no. I was a little scared, not gonna lie, because I was 17, but if you don't take opportunities in life, maybe they won't come. So I was like, okay, this is my opportunity. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm going to LA. I met Charlie and Paloma, my managers in Mexico. They were these like young, fearless, young guys. I met them and we all realized we all wanted to move to LA and work together. I was very scared because moving to one country to another, it's just a big, big deal. Obviamente tenía Charlie y Paloma, que son mis managers, es mi equipo con el que he estado toda la vida, que me ha apoyado desde el principio, mis papás que también siempre me han empujado para seguir adelante, pero definitivamente lo que yo necesitaba para irme a Los Ángeles, lo que yo sabía eran mis sueños y que esta oportunidad la tenía ahorita, que a lo mejor no la iba a tener nunca jamás. It was very difficult to leave my brothers and my family because we were very close. When we were thinking about moving to LA with Sofia, we sat down with her mom and dad and we told him that we're going to be responsible for them and, and, and I like to believe we're like people with values and, and, and very transparent people. So they gave us the blessing and, and the trust of bringing Sofia to move to Los Angeles. State Farm celebrates great artists and the good neighbors back home who helped make them who they are today. For part two of Sofia Reyes' artist story, go to neighborhoodsessions.com.